Yo, 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 it's your boy HUNTZ and we're back again. This is the Golden Era UK Rap Podcast. Can I get a round of applause? As always, the energy is up, you get me? Mm -hmm. So like, big up everyone at home um, that we're going to run through this one quickly because you know what I'm saying, we can't keep, we can, but you know what I'm saying, we want to get to the... (laughs) what we're doing so we're gonna, we're gonna big up we've got we got to do it we have to do it so like yeah firstly we're gonna big up at consume london mokai mm. mokai yes. oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah all right cool get your merchandise mm-hmm. consume london all right big up gcp bo, yeah. bo, 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 bo. they make it happen yeah, yeah. come on big them up um no invite bo, 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 i'm saying bo, 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 yeah the yes, artists absolutely. And that, yeah absolutely the music and everything and also, hey, you are dizzy. Whoa, 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 the algorithms you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying and everyone's still trying to work it out but like if you do these little <laughs> things then it will help you know yeah, what i'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah so like yeah let's get to the part of the show that obviously everyone's click the button yeah to see you understand what i'm yeah, saying and yeah, yeah. like it's the golden era and we always draw for different people it's like a time machine mm. we just hop in you don't even know where we're going to land but we yeah. just hop out it's like oh shit well gone, fam. Mm, you definitely. know what I'm saying, innit? So, like, for me, my golden era was like super underground. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Do you, understand? Hey, but, do you know what's mm. good about it? It's still the same timing, but they was, they, but they had a overground time. Ah, you see, mm. it's a parallel universe a thing. Par- I'm yeah. kind of talking about. But here. they say they still <laughs> had the street it's the thing. Same you know timeline, what I'm and mm. see, for you to even get here, you had to have had a period where you was. Yeah. In the underground. You yeah, don't just on. start up here. Course, Do you understand man. what I'm Absolutely. saying? Absolutely. So Absolutely. I believe that this is someone. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. like this is someone that is eligible to tell the story on that side of things. Yeah. Therefore. You get what I'm saying? That side where a lot of people didn't see. A lot yeah. of us didn't get to see. Like, I didn't personally know you. Mm-hmm. I haven't met you until today. Mm-hmm. So I was just a fan. Yeah, yeah. Just someone that was but just they, watching. But they also had a career before that. That's mm-hmm. what we're going to go into. That's what we're going to go into. So like, yeah, because like, I feel like it's time that we even let you introduce yourself. Fam. Woo. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am J-Rock from... Big brothers. Thank you. Thank yeah. You. Thank you. Legendary. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Thanks for having me, man. Because not many podcasts have re- requested it. You know, what like are you that. Talking about, so man? I feel like I've just started doing the rounds, the real rounds. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? And telling my story to the real people that need to know where I'm going. So. Yeah, most definitely. You see, well, this is GG. the right podcast for that. Yeah. Ah market that's what you know what i'm saying we're yeah, like yeah. you get me we're just collecting people from different bap, 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 bap. everything's that, connecting that. everything's connecting you mm, know the ones it's mm. all lineage you know what i'm saying definitely innit? so like yeah let's get into it innit? all right all right all right so normally yeah i would start with like your name meaning j-rock yeah well i got that name as a child because like i used to drop off my bike and not cry like, I, I was one of those kids that rode two wheels real early. Like, you get what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. But anytime I had a bump and that other kids would be, you know, getting in their feelings or whatever. But like, with me, I just got up and carried on. So everyone was like, oh, he's a rock. Yeah. And Okay. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Literally, like, he doesn't feel pain. You understand what I'm saying? So that's kind of where the name stems from. Yeah. Everyone so used to when, call me Rocky. Yeah. this, like, as a... As a- Child. Like when I was like four or five. Yeah. Four or five. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Most people get their nicknames, you know, like 12. You know what I'm saying? You know what it? it is. You know what it is, though. Like, I come from a big family, innit? So, like, I used to hang out with my sisters who are a number of years older than me and stuff like okay. that. Yeah. So, like, I always hung out with the oldest. Where are you from? Sorry. Where are you from? Well, I grew up in DC. I was born in Africa, actually. Everyone thinks I'm just an American or something. It's not true. Okay. Like, I'm African. <laughs> like, you get me? I'm actually really proud <laughs> to be African. Where are you yeah. from, Africa? From Ghana. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. 
What do you say? Chale. Chale. Oh, yeah, Chale boy. <laughs> <laughs> for real, for real. I thought you said Eti say, I was going to say, I don't speak tree. But <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm actually born in Ghana, but like my dad used to work with the president of Ghana. Okay, so your diplomat. Yeah, absolutely. So we moved to America when I was a few months old, in it? So. I didn't know what Ghana looked like until recently. I just yeah, went yeah. to okay. Ghana for the first time last year wow. and I went back again this year. So but, um, you go DC, in it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. DC. I grew up in DC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, obviously DC in the 80s was, was mental, bro. Like, Ain't this yeah. like um, Wayne Perry and them lots of times? You yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, Rayful Edmonds and I don't know how deep you go with the thing. <laughs> I don't know how deep he go with the thing, but like Rayful Edmonds yeah. was the guy on the roads in DC at the time. Okay. Like he was selling a lot of drugs, but like, um, like, as I say, I was a kid, kid, like yeah. you understand, but my sisters was older. I was around okay. stuff in it. Like you understand, but personally in the house, it was good as gold. It was like, I keep saying to people, I was like Carlton Banks. Like I didn't know nothing about nothing. Okay. Yeah. I was just like, what would you call it? Like a privileged kid. Like, you understand what I'm saying? I didn't come from like a hard background initially. Like, you understand? Mm -hmm. But what happened was there was a coup in Ghana and like all of a sudden my dad left and came to England and like I didn't know what was happening with life anymore. Like, you understand what I'm saying? But when my dad got in his feet, he sent for us and like we moved over mm -hmm. to England and yeah, that's where I started to understand. So how how what old is, are you these times? Oh, like seven. Seven. About seven, yeah, yeah, yeah. So up until, nah, even earlier than that. Earlier than that. I was about six though. Yeah, I turned seven in, in London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a mad time. It was a <laughs> mad time, I'm not going to lie. You know, we, we usually ask people like if they had other names or other crews, but I remember like, um, mm -hmm. can you tell the people about O4J? Oh, Out for Justice. Yeah, that was our first like run me randy and his brother yeah. uh chaz debo and like um yeah our first run was nuts because like when i came back from high school yeah. in america to to london i was trying to keep my head down and that but like i went to lewisham college and again i got into madness in it i was always fighting this that and ever so i got expelled from there but like when i got expelled from there it was like my brethren cisco it's not Cisco. <laughs> yeah. I used to call him Cisco, but like his name is Cuzzle. He's he's from New Jersey. Randomly, yeah, he, we went to school together here in London. But he came with a tape, and he was like, "Oh, check out this this demo tape." So I'm listening. Like, nah, no one from England can really rap. Like, you understand? These times I'm fresh in it. My accent is deep. So like, I'm listening to this this tape now, and I'm like, "Raw, it's actually bang." Who was it? Him. It was Randy. Oh, it was Randy, okay. Yeah, well, it was Randy's voice that made me say, raw, you know what, I'm, I'm coming. <laughs> you yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Because yeah. I lived at, in Lewisham at the time. But, like, where everyone was recording at was um, a place called Oval House, which is opposite the Oval Cricket Ground. So, in Kennington kind of thing. Or, like, just down the road from Brixton and that. Okay, yeah. And, like... Um, I was like, no, nah, when when do you guys go and do this thing? And he was like, oh, every Wednesday and Friday. So I was like, cool, 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 I'm coming down. These times, like, where I was living in Lewisham, I knew, like, Tony Rotten from Black Twang and that. He used to live on Tanner's Hill. I was on Lewisham Way kind of okay. thing. So we used to buck certain times, and he would be like, oh, I'm a rapper, this, that, and ever. I was like, oh, you're a rapper. And he would spit rhymes to me. I would spit rhymes to him. Like, yeah. you understand? But he was definitely the older for me. Like, yeah. you understand? So I rated everything he was what doing. What was this? Yeah. Oh, man, this is like early 90s, bro. Mm. Early 90s. Like, you get me? But in my ends, I was known as, oh, he's the rapper. Kind of thing. Like, yeah. you get what I'm saying? I used to get up to all sorts to get money. I think when I was 10 years old, I used to, like, wash cars in the neighborhood, innit? Knocking everyone's door. Like, oh, I'll wash your car for five pounds. Like, yeah. you understand? Yeah, yeah, that was a hustle then. You, know, yeah, man. you know what I'm saying? Can make a little change, like, as a kid anyway. But, like, also what was happening is I was getting to know everyone in the neighbourhood. Like, you understand? Yeah. Who drives what car, this, that, and the other. Yeah, yeah. And, as, well saying, as, yeah. as well as making a little trainer's money here and there. Like, you get what I'm saying? My sisters was always like, oh, you're going to be an entrepreneur. I was like, hmm, what does that mean? <laughs> like, you yeah, get me? Yeah. But they realised that I just like getting money from an early age kind of thing. So yeah, yeah, yeah. 
in Lewisham, I knew like Tony Rotten. And I knew he was on the radio a little bit, like you understand, here and there. And I wanted that. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? What, what radios was around them times? Oh, I'm talking about like Choice FM. I'm okay. talking about like Radio One with Tim Westwood. So and you're that. just, man just went, you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Absolutely. I was say some undergrounds, you know, them ones like some, you know what I'm saying? No, nah, there was, there was some pirates like, going around. Or something yeah, or something. yeah, yeah. No, before, before them times. No, you know what I'm saying though, innit? You know, before that there was, was a I thought I was gonna hear some like yeah, oh, I forgot that one. You yeah, know, like, old school station or something. Yeah, no, straight. No, but Choice FM was 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 the who, station. Who, who, who was like? Wasn't that Jenny Francis and that them time? Yeah, no, no, even before, before, before that, that, before that, I'm talking wow, about DJ two seven nine. Yeah, yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like those those type of times. I think George K was on the radio them times. Like you know the names. Mm. Like it's it's hard for me to to remember because I wasn't thinking of those yeah. questions when I was coming up here. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I want I wanted to be on radio. Like you understand. I thought my talent was good enough. Yeah. Like you understand. I was I was in subterranea, like doing bits. I was here, there, and everywhere trying to like so prove you, that. Was you dropping tracks them times? Like making no, music? bro. Rapping. I was just rapping. Like I didn't know nothing about making songs. <laughs> like you yeah. get what I'm saying. So again, that's why when I heard this demo tape. Yeah. It it was like a freestyle, like you get me, that got recorded. Mm. I was like, nah, man's man's voice is is heavyweight. Yeah. I'm, I'm coming. Yeah. Like you get me. So that started to be my thing, innit? But like I was going from Lewisham to Brixton. So I'm thinking, oh, okay, there's ghetto boys, there's this, that, and the other, the bear gangs. <laughs> like a warrior's thing is how we stay like, like you had to, like, <laughs> you you had had to, to go get through. through Peckham, you had to get through everywhere. Like, you understand what I'm saying? And it's little old me. So I'm thinking nothing of it. Like, you understand? I knew everyone from before Hunt, so I left. I knew everyone from before I left anyway yeah. that became members of these gangs. Like, yeah, you understand yeah. what I'm saying? So I wasn't really thinking nothing of it. But like, I knew at the time, yeah, I was the only person that was making those kind of moves across the city, yeah. especially yeah, yeah, from, yeah. from Southeast to Southwest. Like, no one was doing that. Like, you understand? But I was comfortable in Brixton, like, you get me? For whatever reasons, maybe I just don't understand fear very well. <laughs> like, you yeah, get what I'm yeah. saying? Places that I'm not supposed to be, yeah. you'll find me there. You yeah. understand what I'm saying? I've always been that kind of way. And, like, that's what I'm saying. I love to reason with people and, and get energy mm. and, and push on my own energy as well kind of thing. So, like, I started going to this place and like we had the same temperament we had the same state of mind kind of Do thing. you and randy yeah and his brother like you understand there was other guys there like there was a group called um lethal dose that used to go there and rap okay. um there was a guy called overdose and another guy called um ah uh, his real name is tom i forget his <laughs> his stage name but yeah, yeah, yeah i thought they was really good but i just thought we was better kind of thing so we started making songs like bad boys never quit and that shit went like bad boys never quit one in the chamber 15 in the clip i'm a mm. bad boy bad boy real simple but like showing mm. that we had a gritty side as well and like i remember randy's bars all now yeah. more shots than raindrops bullet busting skulls in parking lots don't respect no cops because my raps are raw to the bone hard like a motherfucking stone kill them all and come back alone mm. with my chrome in your back <laughs> this rap is about 35 years old bro yeah. like you understand what i'm saying i still remember that it's very rare that people even well baker trouble remembered mm. you know what i'm saying in it like for you to remember your early raps yeah you know that's, that's testament that, you know that, what I'm that saying? stood out for me <laughs> you get what like, I'm see, even how you said that you did yeah. that in like an american kind of accent in it yeah that was the thing at the time yeah absolutely like randy at the time i suppose was influenced heavily by like wu-tang clan um there was there was a few rappers before that but like i remember like at the mm. time we was heavily like listening to that on rotation like you get me 36 chambers like we thought mm. that was genius like you understand there was a few other people bubbling at the time i remember the days i'm saying so yeah about the 04j yeah, yeah. That's, so, so that's see all these tunes that you see that tune that you just remembered yeah, yeah, yeah. it was released underneath that name in it yeah out for, yeah, for justice out yeah, for justice okay yeah, yeah, yeah. i remember there was a swap with like was it carbo d and flawless what happened with that yeah yeah because because Chaz he got he was incarcerated for a bit 
Like, you understand? So there was a time where we needed three boys and three girls. <laughs> like, you get me? Yeah, for, yeah. for the Big Brothers thing. And, like, he was gone. Like, you get me? And there was no one that I felt comfortable spitting with. Like, yeah. you understand? For many years, like, we was trying to get recognised, this, that, and the other. So we gelled so well. Like, not only that, but we was doing bits on the roads as well. So, like, our bond was crazy. What, six of you? No, no, no. This is this is before. This yeah. is before. So he's asking how how did Flawless get swapped in? Okay, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. So thing. someone's been swapped. Carbo D and Flawless. Like, uh, yeah. like you know them ones. You know, like when like a One Direction or something or something in it. Like <laughs> you know them ones. One got one got a go or something like bam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it was Vivian or something. Was, you know them ones. It was swapped. so real because like we was we was probably this close to signing. Like we had been signed before. Like you get me, to but you though, like when we were signed to RMG, which was Death Row's distribution Who, in in the UK. When you see when K Boy, K, you you were signed to K Boy for a bit at some point, yeah, yeah. And what was that? Was that like a street thing, or what was it? Was that like that was that was a road thing, yes. But like he was trying to manage man's, yeah. You get what I'm saying? So as a manager, it was like he, he paid he a little chains and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like no doubt. Has a big brother <laughs> shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, explain to them who K Boy is. So, so K Boy originally is is from the twenty eight in Brixton. Like mm -hmm. you understand. So K Boy is one of our homeboys, and I came up on some bread and was like, "Look, I'm trying to get into the music thing. Let me let me put some bread into your thing." So it was like, "Cool, cool, cool, for sure." Like you understand. So. That's all it was initially, yeah. like you understand. But then he started buying studio equipment, started mm. buying this, that, and the other. He would pick me up every morning to go mm. studio, like you understand. Yeah. And I knew, oh, this, this, this dude is serious. So yeah. I'm like, cool, let's go and do some bits in it. So like every day we're we're turning out tunes, turning out tunes, turning out what, tunes. The three of you, or this is before the, <clears throat> in it. Yeah, this, this, that, this yeah. is this yeah, is like, this is before Big Brothers got yeah. signed. But, it was, but we had Big Brothers. Yeah, 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 Big Brothers. So. Absolutely. Big Brothers. Can I just... So, oh, God, so sorry, Big Brothers ask, initially, ask, ask him, ask him Big Brothers initially is a production house. You understand what I'm saying? It was a it was a production house. Yes, Big Brothers was Skills, who was my producer, K Boy, Marlon, who everyone knows as Brando, and um, Electro, and like these four men was like distribution management production and like whatever else management yeah, yeah. so like it was working to a degree in it because like as i say i come from a background where i used to go on like westwood show like this mm -hmm. is before any kind of big brothers be on westwood show and just be battling anyone who phoned up okay. <laughs> like you understand yeah. what i'm saying i'll be yeah. there for hours <laughs> like you, what, you were just finding out where like just found out where westwood was and just went up, you know what I'm saying? Like, how are you getting no, the links to all of these things? No, no, like, my, so, link, my you know link, to saying, that, like? my link to that was my homeboy Fury, like my homeboy Fury from Nottingham. He mm. was like one of the best freestylers I've ever seen. Like even to this day, I rate him for for his freestyle. Like he's mm. unmesswithable. Like you understand mm. what I'm saying? But like he invited me because he liked the way I, I pattern my flow as well. So like you understand? He invited me initially. And like we would be going back to back, back to back, people would be phoning up trying to battle man's. Like you understand? Yeah, so over the phone and stuff, bro. Man, so man, live on air, <laughs> man, are having rap battles, you know, like that. No one killed us. No one yeah. killed us at all. Like not only Fury, there was a guy called K Sire. Um, there was one other, I forget his name. But like you understand, us, us three or four used to go around just terrorizing radio shows. Like you yeah. understand? And like from from there. Like obviously Fury was from Nottingham, I would go Nottingham, start going mm. Manchester, start going here, there and everywhere. And then I realised that England had a scene, like you understand, they had a hip hop scene that was honest. You mm. get what I'm saying? Yeah. And it was real. So like, again, we would be at different cities, like listening to, to bars and also dropping the people up. from up them areas. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like also in, in, I think Nottingham, there was a guy called Mr. Four Five. I don't know if you remember him, but he Not was dope. Sure. He was dope. Mr. Four Five, like, this is going back maybe 30 years, bro. Like, yeah, yeah it's that. But he was, he was nice. 
he had he had a song that went Radford, you get me, you get me. Even back in those days, like you understand, he was so catchy. And I was thinking, why ain't these men blowing more than this? But they was on radio, so I didn't know what was the the real deal behind it. I just knew that I was a fan of everybody's music. And like I wanted to be the best. I wanted to be yeah. the cream of the crop. Like you understand what I'm saying? But again, I never had no problems like yeah. going up and down the country, even back then. So I got into or knew of many different crews at the time and we all used to collaborate, do this, that and the other. So You don't bust a drink, man. Yeah, yeah, I've got my drink. Right. Yeah, 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 I'll take a drink still. Yeah. I've got some yeah. this one's all fucking tight. Pass me that one for behind the scenes, one of them. Mm. Oh, you bust a can as well? Yeah. I was trying to get drunk tonight. No, I tried to bust it. <laughs> do you know what happened? Yeah. I noticed this is a wrong thing happened? still. I tried, to, I tried to open it earlier and I couldn't open it because my hands are all slidey. So I just <laughs> put it down and bust the can instead. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> oh, are you going to share one behind the scenes, huh? Are you going to be so? Yeah, go on. See, what's got, see what I'm going? Mm. See what I'm going? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, I had to taste this one. I didn't really like this one at first, but it's actually nice. It's like a Red Bull team. Come on. No, this is the real stuff. Okay, so cuz, mm. you're in bare different groups, yeah? Yeah, yeah. What's made you decide? Because, like, this this one bugs my brain out, yeah? Mm. See when you lot decided to, like, create Big Brothers, yeah? Yeah, yeah. But you said it was was already a production company, yeah? But yeah, yeah, yeah. What made you say we need six people? <laughs> that wasn't my idea, my guy. And I'll, <laughs> I'll break down the story. What happened was skills got signed to Jonathan Charlotte, who's like one of the biggest like management people okay. in the country, like second to maybe like a Simon Cowell. Yeah. Like he's massive he's or- big, he, was, he was that guy before. Or, or Simon, Simon Fuller. Yeah, yeah okay. or Simon Fuller, one of these types. Just got mad bread and like bare connections. Like you understand what I'm saying? So Jonathan came to the studio one day when he had signed skills, taking up equipment, taking up bits and pieces. And I was like, raw. He came with this real tall guy. His name is JD. Like, and um, JD was his day to day manager kind of thing. And I was like, where are you going with this stuff? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He was like, oh, we need to take it over to Skills. He's our new producer, this, that, and the other, and kind of laughing. So I'm like, you know, you can't sign him and not sign me. <laughs> like, you yeah, understand yeah, what I'm okay. saying? Like, I, I said it like that. Yeah. Like, I said, you know you can't sign him and not sign me. And he was like, why do you say that? And I was like, because all of the music that you love from him has got me on it. Like, mm, get me? Yeah. And he was like, you know what? You're right. And at that point, he said, pick the best six of you. You get what I'm saying? They and just said, pick the best six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you kind of made it happen? Nah, it depends on how you look at it. But like, um, you didn't have that conversation. I you feel like, to, you I feel like, yeah, like, yeah, like you know, I feel you, like, who did you tell first? Randy. Yeah. Like, okay. That's my guy. So Randy's got to tell his brother. <laughs> yeah. So you that's you three saying. sorted. You know what I'm saying? Initially, three, it? Chaz is already in jail. Like, Chaz yeah, is yeah, already so, in jail. So, so, in it, bro, so in he, it. he knows the yeah. thing, but it's like when you come home, you're so good. what about flawless? So flawless is making tunes on his ones. He's a solo artist. He's gone back to like. Like, remember, it's a production company, so <laughs> studio for the most part, okay, like, okay. you understand? So he's in there cutting records by himself. He had a song called Party Time. Okay. That was good. It was good. I like that one. Like, <laughs> you get what I'm saying? But the others, uh, it was... Flawless or bro? Flawless? Or bro? Or bro? Yeah, it's going to have to be little bro, isn't it? Who do, who do I choose? <laughs> Randy's brother or, or Flawless? Who do it? I choose? I choose... No, no, you, well, you, you was obviously going to... I choose Randy's It already happened, didn't it? Mm -hmm. I choose Randy's you know brother every day of the week. I'm not going to lie. All now, like, you understand? Me and him are, are tight, tight. Mm -hmm. But, like, um, yeah, at the time, he wasn't an option, unfortunately. You yeah. understand what I'm saying? So it was like, who's around? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And even then, I was like, no, where's Fury? Where's yeah. this and that person? Yeah. None of them was about. So I was like, oh, okay. This is our last resort kind of thing. Yeah. And I think skills... Like I said, oh, if you're struggling, pick him. He's, he's all right. So I said, to save the day, okay, cool. So, again, after that, it was like, who's the best girls that I rock with? Like, you So understand? you always knew that you was going to pick another three girls? Yeah, 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 yeah. 100%. Oh, cool. Cool. Like, at the time, there was like 20 of us. We was like, 
huge collective like you understand mm. what i'm saying so pick the best six it's like you're gonna break a lot of hearts yeah during this of course during this of moment course. like you understand so like dion was good like you understand so i reached out to dion and randomly like she used to work at the job center where i used to sign on like you understand? it's mad it's mad it's real though isn't it <laughs> golden era isn't it? <laughs> it's mad <laughs> gone like it's mad because like i used to sign on wearing like big chains and that like everyone was looking at man as man walked through the door but i was still getting that free money like yeah that's that i used to look at it as free money anyway <laughs> so like um one day i was going in to sign on and i was like oh dion there's an opportunity this that and the other and she was like oh okay I'm, I'm happy to listen to it and i said don't take my word for it there's going to be a meeting soon i'll invite you to that so like um that's how dion came in um nadia was pretty much chilling with um brando at the time like every day and that so like she was constantly in the studio and i liked her flow as well like she reminded me of mary j blige yeah. voice back in the days and um sharice had just got out of her deal so um that was a no-brainer for me like you understand sharice sharice's voice for me, as a singer, yeah, yeah, I put her up against anyone around the world, bro. Yeah, I remember, yeah, I remember yeah. that she had a big single with her thing. Yeah, 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 East West Records. Yeah, that's right, second was, best. Second best. Yeah, I remember the Urban Music seminar. I was pumping that hard. Yeah. You know what I'm you saying? No, yeah. I can't be second yeah. best. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why are like you her, to what's the like That's one well, thing I noticed yeah, when yeah. I went back to do my like mm. research. You know, like obviously I I, kn I know it, yeah. but I had to go back to refresh. Yeah, yeah, and and I remember seeing like live performances. And yeah, thinking, yeah. Oh my gosh! Like mm -hmm. it's not no, it's not no harmony thing, fam. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah, they're like yeah. really singing. Like that was absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. yeah, yeah. They yeah. were um, really singing. Honorable mention mm. for um, Blink's production. Yeah, yeah, and uh, course, Mike man. White. I know they did. Mm -hmm. You lot did the unsung with them in 2003 yeah, yeah, yeah. as well. Absolutely, Can you absolutely. Tell, tell people about that, please. Boy, like these men are. Like I know Mike White from from. Well, he's now known as Gamo Speng, the DJ, in it. But, yeah. like, them lot are related somehow. I'm not sure if they're cousins or what. But, like, I, I knew Mike White from that. Yeah. So, from there, it was love, in it. Yeah. And, um, yeah, the process just began. It wasn't It wasn't as as deep as you might think. It was a really quick collaboration, if you will. Like, you yeah. understand? Meeting of minds, even. But, like, again, for him and his flow... I was like, this guy is like super talented. Like, yeah, I, yeah. I, I really yeah. wanted the best for him, and like, and you know, the group that he was rocking with at the time. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think, I think, I think it was his cousin. Like, I used to call him Minor, but he's, he's now known as Gamo Speng. He's quite yeah. a big DJ. Okay. So, so he kind of put the us together. Together, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Rest in peace, Absolutely. Blinks as well. Cause yeah, Blinks was a no big doubt, producer no from doubt. early as well. It's my guy, saying? man, yeah. definitely. Mm -hmm. Who said this bar? Yes. <laughs> you know the ones. Who said this bar? <laughs> Sick in it. Mm -hmm. Out of nowhere. Hold the MC captive. Hold that MC captive in a camp of concentration. Round up the comrades. Prepare them for confrontation. Hold the position. Battling is a tradition that I repeat in every single rhyme session. That's my boss. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's cool. my boss. What track is that, cuz? Um, oh my God. Um, we got him. <laughs> oh my yeah. God. What is that song called? Um, <laughs> nah, you yeah. got me. You got me. You got you. <laughs> What's it called? What's it called? Do you know? Out for Justice track. It's an Out for Justice yeah, tune. I, I remember it. It's not Brixton. It's... Um, S decorated soldiers. There you go. There you wow. go. Cool, decorated cool, soldiers. Cool, cool, oh my cool, days. Cool, cool, cool. You know them ones you got to like <laughs> yeah. test them. Like you had me there. You yeah. had me there. Yeah, oh that's my what happens days. when you come on this, this podcast. <laughs> like, out of nowhere. But like, yeah, cuz. All right, so let's get back to the big brothers. Yeah. What was the first song after you decided who was going to be in it? Yeah. Yeah. What was your first, you know, like your first song released? The first song that Sony released was New Flow. New Flow. Yeah. yeah. Bad boy track. Maybe at the time. <laughs> no, see, when, no, when I say that, bad boy no, track. you know why I say that? Because I, <laughs> I, no, because I have respect. Right, and I, right, And I'm right. mature. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, and I can be real. At the no time, doubt. maybe it might have been like, oh, what's this? <laughs> like, no, let's be definitely. honest, at the time, as a like someone that's in the underground trying to yeah, do that, yeah, do that yeah. you know, like following yeah. the 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 how it goes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's like, oh shit, like we're trying to get there, but we're trying to get there and be like the, the gangsters on the TV. Yeah, so yeah, when yeah. we see you doing that, yeah, we rate it, but safe. I'm but not see, now I'm it. older when mm-hmm. I hear that. Mm ratings because no that's... absolutely as as a as a older and wiser person yeah i was like genius like you understand but at the time i didn't get it so like when they was going through oh we think this should be your first single i was like <laughs> whose idea was it to make that song then the day like how, you know, again how i work? think i think that was originally flawless's song okay yeah that's how it works in the labels isn't it mm. but tell tell us a bit about that you know them ones like that was someone else's song before. Yeah, okay. it was Flawless's tune. Or he had come up with mo- majority of the chorus and that. So I was like, mm, it's not really for me kind of thing. Mm, so I was yeah. like, like next yeah. kind of thing. But like, they kept coming back. Now nah, make this and, and do this. It will be a perfect introduction. So I was like, perfect introduction. Mm. So I was, that's why my bar is, hey, yo, this is J-Rock. Yeah, 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 <laughs> you know yeah, 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 yeah. Like, is this going to be the first time? Yeah, they, you get what I'm hey, saying? Hey, like, this scale, isn't it? Like, even Flawless's bar was different. Like, it was yeah. like, big brothers, we come for the dough. As soon as we step through the dough, oh, I yeah. see that you're hating big the flow. Flawless is the whole, yeah. So he could say that, innit? You get what yeah. I'm saying? He can still say that, innit? So, yeah. okay, so you lot, so it's always going to be big brothers then? Yeah, at that point, that was solid. That was solidified. You understand what I'm saying? Like, when we was getting signed to the management, they was like, what are you going to be called? You get what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. We wasn't going to waste time trying to figure out a name. We was just like, Definitely. we're known as Big Brothers, Brothers anyway. Yeah, Everything yeah. so far has been BB. So let's run with Big Brothers. And they was like, why Big Brothers? And it was like, oh, because we got our eyes on the streets. It's like, <laughs> and started embellishing on stories, you know, like that. But like, the real, the real reason is because the production house was called Big, Big Brothers, Brothers. Yeah. And we just ran with that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we see New Flow. That was like big. Yeah. Big. What What year was that like? Oh, 2000, 2000 and for me, it's 2001. Yeah. yeah. But officially it's 2002. Okay. Like, because obviously, you know, back in the days, they used to send it to radio and see if it would make any sense there. Yeah. Like, you understand? So it was sent to radio in like October. October in my head, yeah, it's October two thousand and one. Yeah, but it was actually formally released October two thousand and two. Okay, so officially this is my twenty years anniversary. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's big. That's massive, isn't it? Yeah, that's, that's a bop, bop, bop. Yeah, jeez, <laughs> love my <laughs> guy. Love. the thing. You know what I'm saying? Straight, straight, straight. Twenty years, jeez, landmarks. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you see that? Yeah, mm. how many more tunes did you release? Um, because it was October, that was the only song that we released that year. But the next song we released was called OK. And um, I don't remember the month, that, but that was definitely 2003. OK. Yeah. OK, so if it's 2003, we've gone a bit past what mm. I in my head. Because yeah. Ulox was nominated. For Mobiles? For Mobiles, isn't it? Sharice was nominated. For mobiles. Wasn't you lots nominated like for best newcomers? Yeah, we won that. We, we you won, won that, that innit? You won that what? Best yeah. newcomer and best um UK act. Yeah. That was two thousand and three. You sure? No. <laughs> no, man, it was two thousand and one. And you know why I know? Do you know was why it? I know? Mm. Because Dizzy Rascal was on that list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, like they won over Dizzy. Maybe yeah. they won over Dizzy, Good and there was geez. other names. I, I think just can't Miss remember. Miss Dynamite was there. Like I there was names Mystique on was that there. list. Yeah, you see what I'm saying. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So you yeah. lots must yeah. that song must have made a big impact at the time. Like I wasn't even expecting to pick up no mobiles. You understand? I just went to the mobiles because I had seen it before, and I was like, I'm here now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I was yeah. gassed to be there. I was drinking. I was acting a fool. I was drunk. Yeah, you understand what I, I dropped one of the mobiles as soon as we won it. Like oh, you mate. get what I'm saying? It smashed into pieces. <laughs> oh, oh my! God. I'm not gonna lie. Like that night, we didn't go home with a, a full on mobile. Like you understand? <laughs> Swear to you. So we had one straight team. one, and then one was a bit dodgy in it because we had to super glit. But it's still about. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still Madness. about. It's still there. It's still there. Cheer yeah. rock, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Must got that, that, that. They must have been pissed with you, <laughs> innit? Bro, oh, I think Kanye God. King is still a little bit. And I don't know why, because like in my head, yeah, I never did her nothing. 
But like there was instances at the mobiles. I'm not sure if <laughs> these stories are gonna come out. Mm-hmm. But like you understand where I let myself down a lot. Like you understand because so gassed, isn't it? yeah, you're so gassed. You just you get what I'm moment. saying. The moment would just go to your head. You wave, yeah, Course. constantly, constantly. constantly. Yeah, Everywhere yeah. I went, I was waves, bro. Yeah. <laughs> so like when I went when I went to the BBC, and it's no secret. So I'll, I'll say it out loud. I used to blaze in the green rooms. I used to blaze anywhere. I thought everybody smoked weed, you know, like, yeah. I didn't know that it was just us, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But like, I was in there blazing. Everyone would come in there. Oh, something smells nice in there. Mm. And you understand, just go out. We would be cracking jokes yeah, with these, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, it's the runners, isn't it? Like, you get me? It's like, oh, 10 minutes before call time. So we're all, you know, getting hair done and shit. <laughs> like, you understand? Yeah. I'm over it's there different smoking. when you're in that, that level of the industry as well. You Absolutely. Get away with of course. You, we got away with everything. You see it, you're there. We got so away with everything. What kind of groups, like, are you, like, mingling with now then? After you've, like, mobiles is, you know, like, it's, it's you know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. It's up now, isn't it? Yeah. Well, at the time. Yeah. Because I've even seen you lots go on top of the pops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah facts. Like, facts, come facts, on, bro. Facts. Come on, bro. We yeah, watched that, that as kids. That's not even anymore. Facts, that's facts, legend, Top of the pops. Like, yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. So that's where everyone that was doing music. Yeah, like, wanted to get I'm to. I'm sure that's where you, like, to see, like, I don't know what day, maybe Thursday, to mm. see some live performances yeah, of the track yeah. that everyone... Come on, fam. Absolutely. The Christmas number Absolutely. one. Come yeah. On. That's done. That, that was big. But, but you lot big. did Top of the Pops. Like, I see yeah. some mad concert, fam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. some... Yeah. You Brother, I'm going to put the link in the description. They got, they got, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice of it. They got the best of it. Like, <laughs> top of the pops. Yeah, like like an award or something. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't yeah. just like a normal top of the pops. But bro, this is why we used to blow so much money. Because like we made sure our stage show looked like nobody else's stage yeah, show. So how does that but the money was now, different now. them days as well. You yeah. Giving yeah. Money, so, bro, so how does that work yeah. now, <laughs> innit? You know, like you're seeing other people probably Advanced doing their thing, innit? They got like mad illusions. You're probably thinking, bro, we got to get... Arting because <laughs> you lots yeah was like um what's the word Ky- choreographed yeah yeah did I say it right Choreo- you know like you lots did like moves yeah yeah, yeah, yeah it wasn't yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying yeah, it? it wasn't course, just rapping course, it was course. moves like there was even that feet. yeah even that I feel like because recently well a few years ago I was diagnosed with um Asperger's syndrome which is a type of aut- autism yeah. So I feel like that's the reason why I took so long to learn certain routines, bro. I was not the routines guy. Okay. You get what I'm saying? So like there was times even like in Scooby-Doo 2, I don't know if you got any questions around that. Yeah. But like there's a reason why in the film, yeah, Scooby-Doo is right in front of me. Okay. And yeah. that's because I couldn't get the... Yeah, because I, I did want to ask you <laughs> like, about that. Like, like, Scooby-Doo 2. Yeah, 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 these yeah, man yeah. did the theme, one of the theme tracks, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah and in yeah, the yeah. video, Scooby Doo, yeah, in like there. <laughs> Scooby Doo's in the thing, like. Talk about what's going on here, bro. I swear to everything you, they did you. was did like had some sort the of film, theme. bro. Yeah. yeah. Tell us about that, man. So again, like again, it's like a similar TV show to Top of the Pops. We was on CD UK. Yeah. But like on CD UK, we had like fire dancers, you know, them axle grinding girls. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So the, the, the performance was up in it. So the, I guess, producers of Scooby-Doo saw that performance and they contacted Jonathan and was like, nah, we need these men in the film. Yeah. So Jonathan. In the film. You're in the film. We're in the film. I thought you just did the. I <laughs> thought you just did, did the. the, 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 the like, no, no, like, no, like, no, using your track, like that's so figured. No, 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 no. no. What? no we're in the film. In the. Film. What? So like again, because it's on Netflix and this, that, and the other, and because it's in the movie in general, like New Flow and a couple of other songs will live forever. Like you yeah, understand, yeah. you can't un-record that. Yeah, you get me. It's there yeah. for life now. Get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where did they film that? Yeah, right. yeah. royalties, nice. royalties yeah. is coming in forever, bro. Like the people that hold the catalog here yeah, are gonna make sure of that. Like mm. you understand? So it's not us that own the catalog. Unfortunately, mm. if I did, then I'd be in a much better position today yeah. than I am. But like the people that own the catalog understand that it's valuable. Like they will mm. never let go of that, and they will continue to push it. As I say, they got like the best connections. They got the best links. Mm. Is what it is. It's the music business from yeah, early, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. But like, yeah, that that was crazy. Just yeah. seeing you lots in the um Scooby Doo. I yeah. felt like I even saw you lots in one video um mm. where you lots reenact um friends. That's right, that's right. That's yeah. the baby Chandler boy. and Ross. I got a Ross and Chandler bar. Yeah, so you yeah, know, like yeah. you know, they <laughs> friends. Everyone, wants, most people watch Friends. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, of course, man. Of course. Again, that was down to the um 
director of the video. Like we thought it was going to be like a normal love story type video. Mm. One man, one girl. Yeah, because they're to each other. One man, one girl, you sing to each other. One girl, one boy, you sing to each other. <laughs> Song done, innit? But like, they always came with like some left field ideas for us, man. Circus. Like, you know yeah. They had circus acts for you lots. So yeah. again, when they was doing the new flow video, yeah, and they was like, oh, how do you envision this? I was like, oh, like because of the way man's talking in the thing, I, was, I saw a totally different vision to Clockwork Orange, like you get me, which is what they was trying to emulate. Yeah, it was yeah. Clockwork okay. Orange. Okay. Like you get what I'm saying? So I was like, it doesn't really resonate for me. And they were like, oh, this is a classic film, this, that, and the other. You guys should. So I was like, can we make it like the greatest show on earth? And they was like, oh, it's like That's a circus. Like a circus. Uh, that wasn't what I was trying to do, but I meant greatest show. But they was like, <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> you know what I'm saying? They got circus out of that. You get, what I'm you, get <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So again, it was like, as as the director was telling us the treatment, yeah, for the video, I was like, you man are trying to ruin us. Like, no, nah. you get what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. there was one point where I understood that this deal is our bread and butter, bro. And if I mess it up, it it might not come back around. Yeah, yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I've had, like, as I say, I had deals before that didn't come to fruition. It's not because of man's talent level. It's because the label was not what it was. Like, mm. you understand? When I say RMG and uh, Death Row and this, that, the label wasn't good. You understand what I'm saying? So it didn't really pan out. So when it was Sony, I was like, oh, they got Beyonce. They got, you understand? There were yeah. so many names that was on there. I was like, we can't actually lose here. Yeah, like you understand yeah. so everything that they were saying eventually i would say you know what i can make it work <laughs> you get yeah, what i'm yeah, saying yeah. i was like more thinking of it from a creative point of view i wasn't thinking mm. nah like i've got to keep it real i wasn't thinking that it worked all. though it worked didn't it in well this is it like numbers wise yes you understand what i'm saying but for what you how you wanted to be perceived no how i wanted to be perceived absolutely not yeah i see that but I didn't care about perception because the money was speaking. Yeah, exactly. Get, Money's coming. So yeah. it's just like... Like there was, there was, I didn't care. It's creative. You know? I didn't care what no one thought about me. Mm. Do you understand? I already, my name was in the hood. You get what I'm saying? Mm. So I didn't really care. Like, you get what I'm saying? Mm. Like, it wasn't until I started hearing people say my name in raps that I was like, oh, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Like, people think it's a joke thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I started to get my feelings a bit like, raw. Yeah. we should actually... You understand, but I was like, at the same time, forget yeah. that. Like, my mum can listen to my tunes. <laughs> like, yeah, I was yeah, more yeah, gas yeah, for I that. I was like, my daughter can listen to my tunes. Like, I was more gas for that. I was like, when I pick mm. up my daughter from school, mm. like, the teachers rate, man. You get, yeah, I was it, thinking. In the real that. world, innit? Yes, I didn't care what no one forget thought, Forget the rumours, kind of Like, thing, no one it? couldn't look at my in my eyes at the time and say, oh, Rocky, I think that tune is a bit weird. Nothing, bro, I swear to you. Mm. None of that happened, ever. Ever, no, ever. That's how it kind of goes, though. Man, yeah, just stay behind it. Oh, that's whack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People still look. Man, not say it to you because I remember they were launch party. Like, not launch, yeah. it was a launch party for something in Embassy mm -hmm. in the West End, and there was bare people there. Even a graph from West End, um, graph from America was there. You remember yeah, yeah, graph yeah, from yeah, yeah, Black yeah, yeah, yeah. A couple mm -hmm. of people, North Star was there. Mm -hmm. the, it was different. PDC was there, but there's also just it's Embassy. So, yeah, man, them are there amongst. Yeah, of course. There are other people that you know you don't even know. You of know what course, I'm saying? Of course. Corey Johnson, I think I see there. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. At them days there, you know, like I was we me and my bridging was DJing there that day. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I remember the deep drinks was that like, just a coke and a, a fucking like, just a brandy and coke or something. Yeah, or even yeah. just a glass of coke. Mm. Yeah. It was twenty pounds, fam. You know, like, you like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Embassy, sorry, I was not having to pull in your, your DJ they, tokens. Like, that's hey, what, what you got for the DJ? Yeah? That's when Crystal was like 450 in the club, bro. Yeah, like. yeah, yeah, yeah. We were spending a lot of bread just on champagne at the time. Uh, like, we had mm. nothing to do with the bread. So, like, so no one was wasn't still... thinking, bro, we should be buying properties. No one wasn't thinking, mm. we was buying whips, renting houses. We were yeah, doing all kind of madness yeah. in order to feel like we was living the fantasy you know like that but you know at the time mm. it was just they i feel like they was painting the picture through you also anyway Do you yeah know what I mean? to, yeah to, like no one to no one told this, us this is the highest level no one told us nothing yeah. until like the accountant was like how much do you want to reserve for tax i was like reserve for tax what does that mean <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? 
How much? When did they money? say? When did they say that to you? When the money came, or like like down the line when when, when the money coming up? <laughs> no, when the money came initially, yeah, it was they like, said it yeah, to you. Go ahead, spend, 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 did it? Yeah. So we were spending. The following year, it was like, how much do you want to reserve for tax? And I was like, what does that actually mean? And he was like, no, because because of the amount of money you make, you have to hold back mm, like at least forty percent. Yeah. Yeah, and I said, I'm like, 40%? That's like half. I was like, no, nah, I'm, I'm not reserving nothing for tax. So, like, yeah. it built Gradually, up, didn't it? Like, and the, Bro. Like, see the tax, man. The, he don't come, like, every year, does he? Oh, he's chasing aggressively. He comes yeah. every week if, if you're not what, careful. Yeah. yeah. If he thinks, bro, you've made this amount yeah. and you're dodging, man. He'll yeah. come every week to see, yeah. like, when are you going to pay this debt? Yeah. Gonna, yeah, it got aggressive real quick. Yeah. So, it was like, okay, wait until royalties come around again and yeah. again what was going on in my or the group's account because we had one account for all of the money to go into yeah. and then we would distribute from there it was like how much number one do you want to save and i was like nothing then it was like raw <laughs> if you don't if you don't hold certain back mm. then they're gonna they're gonna come for you like, you they're going to see gonna... that you haven't held nothing in there, innit? Yeah, 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 yeah. They're going to see that I haven't made any attempt to yeah, pay off. It's yeah. kind of like, um, you know, Wesley Snipes and these men. Yeah. Like, you understand? You go years making million dollar movies. Yeah. And you're not paying no tax. It's, it's mm. ringing bells with them. Yeah. Like, you understand? Yeah. So, real quick, that happened to Big Brothers. Like, you understand? We all had like mad liabilities that we needed to get rid of. And it was like, okay. We're making this amount of money per year. We should be able to manage this. Like, you mm -hmm. understand what I'm saying? So eventually we all came up with payment plans. We're doing this, we're doing that. Mm -hmm. But as I say, it was when we were coming back from Australia, we toured Australia, like the mall was filled to the brim. Like you mm -hmm. couldn't fit no more people into this like in-store mm -hmm. signing. The people then was going nuts. They was like, this in-store signing is bigger than Destiny's Child. Like Destiny's Child had just... Mm. been through there our one was bigger than that <laughs> you get what i'm saying yeah and like the security couldn't hold back the fans it was mm. like the beatles bro it yeah. was crazy so again when we was coming back from australia i was like randy how come i ain't got no car <laughs> like you get what I'm yeah saying? and he was like rocky how come i ain't got a car i was like bro i don't know so when we got off the plane it was like mm. the first thing we we're gonna do is sort ourselves out some whips like, mm. you understand? And again, even at this point, yeah, we hadn't seen like 10 grand, 10,000 pounds. It's a little mm. bit of bread. Yeah. We hadn't seen that live cash yet. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? So again, the first thing I did was get the bank on the phone mm. and say, I need a 10,000 pound loan. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, so that went into my account, yeah. And I was like, raw, 10 racks say no more yeah. i went over to Chertsey to lexus bought my whip mm. like you understand i didn't have a license even you yeah you saying? just went and copped yeah, yeah, yeah drove it off the lot like you understand straight to brixton and was like i'm the first man with this is 200 in the hood <laughs> like you understand i thought i was flossing like you understand this is at the time where like Mega had got the TT and like okay, so, so so twenty one seconds and that is like bro they was they was doing bits, so again that's why I was like how come I ain't got no whip like you understand did you have new flow out them times as well yeah just about yeah. maybe okay as well like you understand but like when we was touring Australia it was pretty much on the on the Sorry strength of new flow what was your um what was the chart position yeah in yeah. the UK yeah just like in general you know like just to show yeah, like the highest you got what's, yeah what's the highest chart. Um, it was number one in like across Europe. It was number one sorry. in in Australia. Sorry, <laughs> it was number one yeah, like yeah, sorry. in a lot of places. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I think in this country the biggest should have known that. I think the biggest number in the UK was number three or two. Okay, yeah, I always get that one a, a little bit jaded. But like we was in the charts for like twenty weeks. No one does that, bro. Yeah, <laughs> at the yeah, time, at yeah. the time, like people are doing it now. Um, Dave and what's his face but like um, yeah, yeah yeah like at the time 20 weeks in the yeah, charts meant yeah. like we're selling at least 12,000 13,000 copies a week yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. for 20 weeks that was, was was there any relationships in the group? 
<laughs> That's a long story. But like, <laughs> put it this way, you spend enough time with a person. Yeah? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, and I think you might have known that was going to happen, man. That's why yeah. you said three boys, three girls. Yeah, yeah. you get what I'm saying. <laughs> but man. obviously the girls could sing. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying, yeah, innit? Yeah. But who's yeah. the who, 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 who? Who and who? Like, I see it from friends, man. I don't think I could. I don't think I could say because it would put people in it's sticky. Just, no, this is maybe because they situation. might have moved on or something in life. No, it'll people, maybe that it'll, was just a group thing. Trust me, it'll put people in sticky it'll situations. Tea, that you know, I, I, married now. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't risk that on. Like, you understand? I certainly don't want no one's so it's relationship. You, you it's and you. <laughs> <laughs> oh it wouldn't have been so polite. I'm always here, like, like I'm always. <laughs> I'm always in the middle of something, like put it that way. I'm yeah. always in the middle of something. See? But like, um, oh, it's, oh, the two of them you had. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 not even, not even like that. Not even like. I'm joking. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, as I say, like this is our 20 year anniversary. Like, you understand? So you got touring now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Like, don't ever, don't, don't ever get it twisted. Forget. Like we Fucking we tour hell. we tour not only in the UK but we tour internationally as well. Big. So like um, I think next year we're gonna be doing like Denmark, Sweden. Um, definitely gonna be doing the UK. Um, and we might go back to Australia. Um, Dubai is on the cards. We haven't done Dubai yet. Do you tour with any old uh, uh, old UK artists as well? So back in the days, yeah, it's a funny time right now. But back in the days, I used to tour. Well. I used to tour with everyone. So, like, I've toured with Sean Paul. Big. Yeah. I've toured with, like, Wyclef more recently. Yeah. Um, tons of people. Any tons pop artists? Any pop artists. Because it was, you lot were considered pop we, at a time. Yeah, so yeah. Like any so, again, like, S Club. Steps. Yeah, S Club. Yeah, Steps, as you say. Yeah. Um, Liberty X. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Like, big, this, big. this is even going down nowadays. Okay. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? We're still filling out arenas around the UK. Of course. You get what I'm saying? And then what, taking the, the new show. fans or it's the old nostalgic fans coming up. You know what it is? Like for me, I see a wide range of ages in there. Like you get me? I see everything from children to like older mm -hmm. people, like people in their fifties and sixties and that. Mm. So like when you come to like a nostalgia show like that for, yeah. you, you know, nineties music, music or course. whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna get people like random, like Wigfield. You're gonna get like yeah. um, Wigfield. Where's that? <laughs> Saturday night. Da, 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 okay, da, da, okay. Yeah, 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 you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you're gonna get. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. I thought it was an M. I thought it was an M. Sorry. <laughs> oh man, no disrespect. Man. You're gonna say. I thought it was an M though. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> but this is what I'm saying. <laughs> the person, the person that sang "Show Me Heaven." Um, DJ Sammy is their name, and yeah. stuff like this. Like I, I, I tour with. Anyone from these times, big, you big, understand? Big. It doesn't really matter. So again, I feel like what is missing from my Arsenal is touring with UK people. Like it, I've never done a tour with So Solid, for instance. Yeah, I don't yeah, see why. Yeah, 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 it hasn't happened yet. Yeah. <laughs> you get know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. and they still touring as well. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, like, the time they was big, their name was a bit road. Yeah, maybe, like, maybe. Yeah, big bros. Like, because they're, of they're certainly... Theme. You see, it works in your favour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, I think, they're, I think their yeah. run of shows has picked up more recently as well. Because, like, Lisa and Romeo used to go out a lot. Yeah. Like, you understand? And, uh, like, Mega, Harvey, they wasn't on the road at the same time. Yeah. Like, you understand? So I used to see that as weird. But, like, when I saw the show that, like, just Romeo and Lisa were putting down, I was like, oh, I see why they're, yeah. they're going out getting this bread. Yeah. But, like, I feel like even today, when I see the whole crew together, it's like, that's the magic, in it? Like, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. that's really my... I think that's more for the old school That's people, That's so. where my heart is, yeah, yeah. you get know what I'm saying? And mm. stuff like that. So it's good to see them on the road. Yeah. But like I feel like we don't do it together enough. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Like I've got so much love for them. I'm going to go like like an old school golden era moment for you. As well. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, take them back to Dwayne and Auntie Desiree's house. Mm -hmm. And tell them like, you know, the whole Westwood days and how you, we used to chill out and write bars and smoke weed. and Yeah. yeah, yeah. So mm. like in those days, it was all about this crib in Stockwell, which is 305B in Stockwell. I'm not going to say the road and stuff like this, but like that was the the spot that we used to chill, mm -hmm. like you understand for the most part and, and really like 
show the man them that was there what the bars were sounding like. Yeah, yeah. You understand? Outside of that, we used to chill over at Randy's mum's house a hell of a lot. Yeah. Like, you understand? Writing bars and coming up with new ideas, yeah, this, that yeah. and the other. So like, between those two spots, yeah. that was the stomping ground, no yeah, doubt, yeah, between yeah, yeah. Stockwell and Brixton. And like, again, because of the Westwood shows and this, that and the other that we had featured on, we had became really well known for exactly, yeah, for, yeah, yeah, for yeah, spitting bars I mean, in the bits. Yeah, yeah. You get what I'm saying? We had t-shirts like before we had deals. We had like everyone in the hood rocking the O for J t-shirts and stuff. Like when I think of those days, it's like, why didn't we continue that in Big Brothers? We had way more bread. We could have had merchandise. We could have had this. We could have yeah. had that. We just wasn't thinking of that like so in work, something else was working in it no it absolutely thing, absolutely yeah. for us we were living the dream and like as i say man we we hit stages with mariah carey like I've, i'm on remixes with j-lo like you understand things that i thought would never happen in life yeah <laughs> happened to big brothers like you yeah. understand what i'm saying and like uh radio stations like kiss fm for instance would only play the big brother's version of the uh, J-Lo remix or whatever okay. and that really started to make us build in the like more urban yeah. areas and that but like we always had the nation do you understand yeah. what I'm saying so I didn't care what anyone's opinion of me was like the nation was in love with big brothers yeah. Yeah, at the yeah. time I got what you're saying you know what I'm when saying yeah. stage people are like rating it you know what I'm saying yeah, so, yeah, yeah. you know what it is yeah when you when you touch the stage and you see people are crying because they can't believe it's you. <laughs> Do you understand? Yeah. That's how I knew, bro, that we had something special. I saw people in floods of tears. Like, you understand? Not because they was upset, but because they was gassed that it was man on stage, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> can't believe fam, it. Fam, that's mad. That's mad. Singing every word. Like, you yeah. get what I'm saying? I knew that we had something yeah. at that point. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Had some of that but yeah, not yeah. what you're talking about you yeah, know what I'm saying yeah. <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm saying definitely. these, are defining, saying, these are defining moments like before before Big Brothers yeah when we were still like a collective like we had this one song like it was an Out for Justice song called Pornography it had Cherise mm -hmm. featuring and like Skills used to put out this uh, mix CD called Breakdown Mega Mix and like there was a shop called CD Bar he had a deal with them they bid like CD shops had mad deals with them and everyone used to buy it because there'd be like 500 songs just like the choruses and that yeah. like you understand so one day we was at um one park in peckham i can't even remember the name of it but it was an all day going on and we we went up on the mic and that started spitting this song pornography bro the audience rushed the stage the security was like no nah, you guys gotta leave like you get me we can't we can't defend this like you understand and we left because like everyone oh it's them like you understand they understood what was mm -hmm. pornography but they haven't heard the whole tune in it okay so, so they when they mean. when they started hearing the whole tune they was like oh my days when the chorus came in they rushed the stage bro and it was like oh my god is this what we're doing to, to people already yeah. they ain't even got no deal yet like you understand so when we got deals and i could see people crying that was the next progression for yeah. me i was like yeah. bro this is like the magic touch like people are actually feeling this on a level mm. like we're getting fan mail bro like left right and said oh that song helped me get through my exams oh that song helped me get over my father's death this yeah. that and the other so i was like raw this mm. you understand this this thing has levels mm. it's not just for the community but it's for the community yeah i did it for, for the man first yeah. but like it's, it's reaching a wider audience yeah. now do you yeah. feel like personally your your personal art suffered for doing it for uh doing things like mm. the, what the label wanted you to do as i say like when the label directed mans it was like how do i make that work <laughs> you get what i'm saying there was ones that i, I just didn't get it yeah. like when it was like oh do ain't what you do is the way that you do it i was mm. like bro like what are you talking about ain't what you do is the way that ain't that abba or something like yeah. why would i yeah. do that yeah and it would be like oh if you don't do it I'm gonna whoop to woo, and it's like, bro, like you're you're holding man to ransom or oh. you understand what I'm saying? 
So eventually, man will say, oh, I'm going to do it, innit? Like, yeah. just to make you say it's rubbish. And man are like, this is the best thing I've ever heard. Okay, so you... So you <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you say you go away, you write some bars, and I come back thinking, yeah, this is trash. Yeah, you know what they want? Yeah. These times, they're saying, yeah! Like, they, yeah, 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 they yeah. think, oh my yeah. gosh. Do you get what I'm saying? Hell. Like, my bars, my bars on that one was... I'm just keeping it real. The same me, like before the deal. I still rip up beats, the same street appeal. Still making it hot, the heat you could feel. People like, damn, Rocky, man, you need to chill. Like, if you listen to the lyrics, yeah, yeah. it's hard. Yeah. But you can't go all out and start bang banging on tunes. Like, yeah. you understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So for me, that was the coolest thing I could have done on a yeah. record yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, I know what you're saying. You yeah, of course, but it, the market that you're going to, cuz, they just want to mm. hear you flowing. Yeah. yeah. They, you, they just want like, you to yeah, flow yeah, nicely. Man, you know man. what I'm saying, innit? Big you don't names. really need to kill too many people on these tracks here, fam. Yeah. No, it just needs course. to get played on the radio. Like, let me tell you what it was, like, and Randy can attest to this. There was a time, yeah, where we had just got signed and I said to Randy, look, we can't get too vibesy on mm. this. We have to spoon feed people through hip hop on this record. Yeah. Because people don't really understand what is hip hop in it. Like, there was people like Richard Blackwood had a record deal. I don't know if you remember that. Yeah, I do. Come on. <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I can't remember. remember he did a song before, Yeah, yeah. What was <laughs> Richard Shuffle. Blackwood had a record deal, he did. bro. He like, did. you understand? There was some funny stuff going on. I didn't want to be the next <laughs> funny guy. Do you understand? But I could see what was going on here. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> big up Richard Blackwood. Richard Blackwood was. No, like, of course. That's I, don't, my, I that's feel my like. Guy. You know what? They, not lie. they Richard definitely. Blackwood, I'm Don't not give even him trying to ratings. make fun of him. I think I think he's an amazing actor. He's an even better comedian. Yeah, yeah. Do no, you understand? Yeah. But he but knows when it comes to the RB, bars. Don't, RB don't, was a bit... <laughs> when it comes to the bars, <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> but when the when the label is offering you a million pounds and saying, "Bro, try try a thing," you're gonna you're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna do try it. A Why not? You understand you're what I'm saying? Try a thing, boy. Why yeah, of course. Not. Like for us, it was no different. Every any time they was like, "Oh, do this," we would be like, "No." But then it was like, raw, like, get your money in it. Like, mm. you understand? So every time they came with something, eventually it got done. But it might not have been no, our proudest they moment. they still gave you some good beats, man. There's that one with the diamond. These are the things. The All right. So so that one they came gave you, They gave you ones with, mm -hmm. like, like, every one of your beats. They, like, they had a mad sample. Skills and Fingers produced everything on my on my first album. Oh, like, you get me? Dance. I didn't have no outside producers. Outside producers was on, like, the B-sides, the remixes, mm. this, that. Mm. But, like, on the album, all you hear is... Them two, fingers mm. and skills, they work together. Yeah. 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 Like there was a time when, do you remember Don Jazzy? Yeah, yeah. Don Gun. Jazzy. I'm still here, Gun. I'm listening. So Don Jazzy, like skills brought Don Jazzy to London before he was like big Afrobeats yeah. producer. And like skills was like producing in one studio and said, oh, Don, go and sit down with these men and, and come up with something. So again, as I always used to say to skills, like, Africa has an opportunity of having its own thing. Like, you understand yeah. what I'm saying? Come on. Like, at the time, like, Indians had Bangra beat. Yep. Like, everyone had their little sound the going on. Is, like, yeah. you understand? I was like, no, there's an opportunity. Because, like, Skills had a bit of a complex about rapping in an African accent. Yeah, and, like, at the time, it wasn't, at the time, yeah, it wasn't cool. And absolutely. So mm. I was like, you got to do it. That's like, crazy, though, isn't it? Mm. Americans was accepted. Is he doing yeah. Afrobeats now? Yeah, skills. Um, he does TV more than anything in Nigeria. He's okay. going back to Nigeria. Okay. Like he's living real good. Like you understand what I'm saying in Nigeria? Because like the money conversion is mad. Mm -hmm. You take any kind of like British pounds to Nigeria, yeah, you're coming up with stacks. Mm -hmm. Like when I came back, when I went to Nigeria just recently, I was there in like August, in July. Like man, are like making it rain over there. Like mm. you get me? I'm thinking, bro, there's mad bread on the floor. But like every five hundred. Is worth like five pounds. It's not that much. Mm -hmm. you know what yeah, yeah. It might even but, be but less it than that. Translates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks it's crazy. Big notes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like Jamaica as well. It in looks Jamaica, crazy. You, should, you just like change five hundred pounds. You're rich. Yeah, yeah. You got racks in your suitcase. That <laughs> so man, I just dash money on the floor. I was like, bro, is this how man I live it? Like I didn't know in it, like until recently, recently. So yeah, it's mad. But like, skills is doing more TV over there. So he's got a program like, it's a bit like Big Brother. But it's more like artists, dancers, actors, mm. this, that, and the other in one house. And like, he gives them tasks to do every day. So, mm. like, make up a dance routine to this beat and okay. this person rap on it. 
Yeah. Like, yeah, the style, and then they put their heads together. It's like making the band and Big Brother at the same yeah. time. It's pretty mm. Do you dumb. think Big Brother stole it? Um, Big Brother, you know, Your name? the TV show. Yeah, because no. whenever I watch Big Brother, I always <laughs> just used to think back to the song. Yeah, mm-hmm. in fact, I'll be real with you. In fact, it was it at was like it was like the first Big Brother house happened in I think it was Holland or Netherlands somewhere. So yeah, like the first one was it abroad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first one wasn't in the UK. No, no, no. Experimenting on yeah. next people. So, uh, so I knew the name was flying around, but when it came to the UK, eventually, I was like, ah, oh. like it's gonna be hard to differentiate yeah. between the two things. So every time I was like, oh, I'm from Big Brothers, people was like, oh, I don't watch that show. I was like, it's, like, it's oh, not a TV man. show, in it? It's the group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so like constantly having to like clarify yeah, yeah. and understand. But I feel like they should ask men to come on the show. Yeah. You get that's, what I'm saying? Like, that's what I f- used to think. You know, them yeah, ones, or that, yeah. at least do the theme song or something, man. You know, them ones, like the intro. Like one, or one day, something. Big Brothers. One day, big brothers Rylan, big brothers. One day Rylan invited us down to introduce the, I can't remember what series it was, but introduce the series. We went down, like, I even brought Flawless down, yeah. like, you understand, and tried to get Flawless back into the fold. And, like, we just kept bumping heads again like you get oh, me it like it was old school <laughs> it was like the old days and i was like bro i'm not competing with you like you know, mm. there is no competition in fact like you understand mm. what i'm saying i'm showing you love and you're showing me competition like it's mm. not really what i'm here for like mm. you understand so he cut himself away again so i haven't spoken or seen from flawless in quite a long time but as always, because we have that history in it, I still mm. got a lot of love for him. It's not like yeah. I don't want to see him ever again. If I could mm. see him, I would love to. But um, yeah, 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 that's mm. that's one of them things that happened over the years where I was thinking, oh, maybe this is a Big Brothers reunion. Yeah, uh, yeah, able yeah. To happen, like you understand. There was a time when like big reunion was going on, and they asked us to to come out. And um, again, flawless was in the fold, and I was expecting for there to be a, a massive reunion. But for us, they insisted that it was the whole band or nothing. Like, yeah. you know how they let certain yeah, men... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it yeah, might yeah. look mad because there's six of you, so we want to... Well, you know what I'm saying? This is it. We wanna, this right, is if you're going to do seven, then that's cool. But yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? You can't I think it's different for thought. bands that are just girls or just boys because you could lose one and it's yeah. like, yeah, yeah, you can still harmonize. But we know that it's the free, free. Yeah. I don't think there was another group with six members like that. No, no, no. If I'm honest, I kind of can't remember... All of them. I can remember him and the 50 Cent guy. I that feel like... Yeah, and Nadia. And Nadia. And the two girls, of course. And yeah. what was the, but was there three girls? There's was three girls, bro. The third And you know what I remember? Dion. Yeah. Because of the... What's it called? Because of the um the Friends video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like boy, girl, boy, girl. Like how they mm. did it was like Joey and Charlie. You know, yeah, like how yeah, the Friends... Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Facts, man. Yeah, Facts. so I... Yeah, that's, that's crazy, cuz. Mm. But what's it called? Did you lots make any albums? After New Flow. Just like, you know, like, is there like an album? Did the album come out? Like, what? See, all the music, was it just singles? Like, for the most part, yeah. It yeah. was just bedroom music, innit? Things that you play for your bridges and stuff like that. No, so, I'm talking about, you know, like, when, when, you, you, was, got signed. when you got signed to Big Brothers, yeah? Did yeah, they yeah. put that all collectively onto a... Did you have an yeah. album? There's, there's mm. one thing, there's one thing out there called um, Big Brothers Watching You. It's an album, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, it never came out officially, innit? It was us, man, yeah. putting it out. But like on that one, you would get records from Sharice, records from yeah. uh, Nadia. She was in a group called Lynx yeah. with a girl called Judy. Um, Flawless's tunes was on there. Out for Justice tunes was on there. Uh, Rocco Manet was on there. Uh, like every one of the 20 mm. people. Yeah, but how come there was, was never a Big Brothers album? You lots had like, mm. you know her album, you just need three or four. Mm. like cemented track and then, and then the rest there was I can't even lie I just see so that. like I thought that all of them like new flow all, all of them all tunes was all like tune, bam yeah. and then you just got some other tune you know what I'm saying innit mm, yeah. mm, mm. so in general new flow was the album there was an album called new flow that's what like, I'm saying you know what I'm saying and um that sold I stopped counting at three million like today we're spinning like Four million and new flows on that new yeah, flow. Yeah, and, and yeah, what yeah, else? What sure. other songs are on that? Favorite things, baby boy. Okay, okay. like bare ch- bare tunes. Like That's you what understand? I'm saying, yeah. So like it's the it's the second album that went over everyone's head because it was an independent one. So like I'm thinking, yeah, we're still riding a wave kind of thing, mm. but the wave had kind of died at the time. 
And like we put out a, a softly released our album called Reentry. And um there's some of my favorite songs on that album. Yeah. Mm. No one's heard them tunes, bro. It's like so mad to me. So mad to me. There's one song called All I Ever Wanted, yeah. It's the maddest song anyone's ever mm. heard. We got tunes with Twister mm. called Going Away. Like yeah. no one's heard it, bro. Like, you understand? Last time I saw Twister, he was like, bro, just dash it out. <laughs> like yeah, you get me. Yeah. Like we we got a funny relationship because like Initially, we was in LA doing the Scooby Doo uh, videos, and um, these times our manager, like JD, the tall guy, I was mm -hmm. telling you earlier on in the story, he went off to meet Twister and was like, "Oh, would you do a record with my guys, Weep to Woo?" So he played him a few records and said, "Yeah, I'll do it." Mm -hmm. <laughs> like you get what I'm saying. So there was a producer called Fitz, and Fitz sent um, over the rhythm. Mm. to my guy and he was like let me hear what these men are doing over it we was just doing some slow flow but it was dope the song is called uh sorry love's dream not going away love's dream so it was about a breakup going on like you understand so i think dion and sharice had a verse mm. then me and randy had a verse mm. and then twister goes mad bro like it was some of his mad fast and that yeah <laughs> But it was it was some of the best twister I've yeah. ever heard. Like yeah. you get me. So when we were selecting the second album, I was expecting that to be a no brainer to be on the album. Like yeah. Sony didn't want to do nothing with it. So again, we was having a lot of disruptions with Sony because mm -hmm. they had one idea and we wasn't going for it. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And again, I kind of know why <laughs> our, our our head stopped the lining. You understand what I'm saying? Because for them, they mm. already had the valuable thing and they didn't need a second or a third. Like, you understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They so, them songs. They yeah, yeah, yeah. Them. They hold Scooby that catalog Dude, now. Got that, like. You understand? It's forever. So they was like, mm, these man, let's get somebody else kind of thing. And if you remember rightly, yeah, in like 2003, no hip hop was going on in the charts. That's when it stopped. Mm -hmm. It was just guitar bands. Like, you understand, mm -hmm. people like Coldplay, uh, you know, just bare guitar bands and pop, mm -hmm. pop. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, you understand, it was not fun in the charts. So that's why Channel AKA, or Channel U at the time, yeah. blew up so much because this is the, only, the place only place that you could get. You the, could get the black music. You, you never knew that. You get I never saying? knew that. That's info right there. Yeah. But it makes sense now. Facts. Mm -hmm. So it's people switched off from what was going on on MTV, VH1 and these channels. And started looking for urban music elsewhere. And even Channel A, you Channel U, yeah, yeah, yeah. started with um, like guitarists and urban bands. Mm, like, mm. Then, the, that then, flood. Then the urban scene started yeah. hitting them and flooding them. Absolutely. And when they saw the money was over there, then yeah, they started yeah. giving more love to it. Do you know what I'm saying to you, bro? Do you know how many years it took for Channel U to start turning over some peas? Exactly. Like for me, I was like, that is stepping backwards. Instead of having the, the wherewithal to say, right, actually, if we do some bits for mm -hmm. Channel U, yeah. that's actually you can a step that, in the yeah. right direction. Like, yeah. I had, I was so, like, I was like, I don't want to end up like these, man. Yeah. Well, you're, you you're, on, MT, you're on MTV base. <laughs> yeah. You're thinking it's MTV base. <laughs> no, but MTV, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. yeah. I'm thinking, I don't want to end up like these, up man. Oh, my God. You need Channel U. Do you get what I'm saying? What the fuck are you talking about? Like, my, my chains had diamonds in them. Mm. I don't want to end up like these, man, bro. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? <laughs> you get what I'm it's saying? Real. Yeah. The slide is like, the slide Bro, again. I kid you not. Yeah. I kid you not. I know. Like, you understand? Like, That's where it was at. Like, like everyone's yeah. laughing at everyone trying to eat them. Mate. Yeah. It was a laughing stock, please. Let's be honest, yeah. The early days, they wasn't very selective with who they let on there. No, you know what I'm saying? So when I'm listening to the, to the music, I was like, well, what is this? Yeah. Like easily, yeah? yeah? I shit on these men. Do you understand? This is in my head and I, I still stand by it today. Couple people came out of Channel U that I rate. Mm. Get. But that's what I say, Kalashnikov. I feel Kalashnikov, like, are you crazy? Kalashnikov is Kalashnikov one of my favourites. Like, he's, he's one of the first people that made Channel U like, okay, yeah. what's going on there? You yeah, understand? Yeah. And then it was like and Trump then, fan Mike GLC. Oh, you know, okay, like, okay. Yeah. So, although I used to compete with these men to some degree, yeah. like financially there was no competition, bro. Like yeah. we stood out. Yeah. But bar for bar, like certain man, you know, you get your pride on in it. Like mm. you get me, you're coming through Brixton, like 
it's yours. And I'm saying it's mine though. Yeah. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it makes sense. Yeah, you, you get know, what I'm saying? Yeah. If you're yeah, kind of a su- success. You're, that's mine, isn't it? Like, yeah, you're gonna think that definitely. You get what I'm saying? So, definitely. like, that's that's where my head was at at the time. I'm I'm defending minds. You yeah. understand? Wherever men are so going, man are trying with to challenge you with the bars and that. Yeah, like, and see, like, you know what I'm saying? See, yeah. you got it man, for the so street level. Okay. Your pop though. Yeah. So okay, so like occasionally, occasionally, them, occasionally, yeah. occasionally, yeah, man, put my name in a bar. I don't remember man's name right now. He's an actor though. Currently, who's acts from hip hop days? Ashidi. No, not Ashidi. <laughs> it's gonna come to me. Bashi. Bashi. Put man's go. name in a bar. He was like, "Oh, the one that looks like Fifty. I'll punch him in the face, make him look like Jay Z. Some shit. Like you get me. I was like, "Oh, <laughs> is he? Is he trying it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? <laughs> and again, I was thinking bars wise. You should have allowed it because I'm seasoned, bro. I, yeah, you understand? Yeah. I've been all up and down the country battling people all this time. Yeah. Just because I did some commercial shit, you would have put yeah, my name yeah, in a bar. Yeah, yeah, I'm still happened. that guy. Do you understand <laughs> what I'm saying? I think I think I heard one song from Jaja, PDC, hmm. Urban Ether, in fact. Man said, Rock. J Rock said he's the best in the South. That's true lies. I seen him on ITV with kids throwing pies. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> do you know how that touched me differently? Because I know you, bro. Like, yeah, you understand? Yeah. Where did that come from? I just fuckers. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For me, yeah, the logic, the logic behind not responding is no one's ever going to hear your thing. Yeah. The, the few thousand people that's listening to your thing, yeah, I don't actually business. Do you understand? Yeah, if it yeah. became a thing big, mm. bigger than that, I would have had to respond. But like, Number one, my homeboy was like, ah, oh, he's just having fun, this, that, and other. I was like, cool, like, everyone likes to have fun, including me. Yeah. Like, you understand? <laughs> but it was like, if you respond, you're giving man's too much light. Yeah, them times they're like, mm-hmm. yeah. You get what I'm um, saying? Yeah, it was like, if I respond on a, you understand, on a raw, I'm actually touched by you, it's going to come out differently. Like, you understand? And I didn't want to give no one more light. You've got people that know, more people that like know you in it so they're yeah. saying oh, what's he talking about and exactly then, then there's got a flood like yeah. you know what I'm saying? they might even like jaja mm-hmm. mm. <laughs> yeah you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. so you might well, just bust was, him you might just bust him there was the that stream fans like you there know was that saying? ability because he's not rubbish no you understand no, no, he's no. good you understand and the whole pdc so movement was that just to get a little yeah you know yeah. what i'm saying and the whole pdc movement was was gaining some traction there you understand what so, i'm saying yeah so I was like, oh, okay, like this is friendly competition, yeah. like, let's call it. But ha ha ha, I'm not responding. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's being strategic himself. And and yeah. and that's how I took it. Anyone that was like chatting, I was like, watch, let's let's see where you end up, kind mm. of thing. And mm. man, I was just watching all now, like you understand? Oh, that's why I say the guy that's a rapper but is an actor now, like yeah. Bashy, I rate him. Like it's mm. not that he ain't done stuff that I don't love. Yeah. Like his song, Black Boys, are you crazy? Yeah. Like, you understand? I make my kids listen to that shit all now. big boy track, man. You understand? Big boy tracks, like something yeah. that everyone listened to at the time. You get me? Like, I even did a version. Yeah. Everyone did it. I think he did a challenge. Mm. Like the Noah's Ark thing that man mm-hmm. did. Yeah. yeah, he did the challenge and he had everyone doing their verses and sending it into him to be on the track. Yeah. So, yeah. But that, like, don't ever get it twisted. Big. Even now when I see Jaja, I'm like, when are me and you getting in the studio? Let's do something. Like, yeah. you understand? Like, and I mean it. It's not yeah. that I'm just chatting for the sake of chatting. Like, let's mm. actually do some bits, in it. Like, yeah. let's make a difference. Like, yeah. you understand? In any way, even if it's just music, bro, let's do it. Yeah. yeah. yeah no, definitely, man. Mm-hmm. All right. So what? Have you got it? Because you normally have, like... No, yeah, man. I'm... And you know what? Can I just say something? <laughs> Can I say something? See where you're sitting today. It's a much better place. <laughs> because sometimes see when you're to my left yeah mm-hmm. I'm going like this mm, mm. it's like it's mad you know I'm <laughs> sometimes it's proper mad like when I'm doing this like mm. my, you know what I'm saying cuz feeling better yeah see now it's like yeah bang no doubt no but doubt yeah yeah well you know what yeah normally mm. Mm. yeah I, I feel like I've asked like loads of questions and we got like loads of like a proper mm, mm. good representation of you yeah but yeah, yeah. like we would end it off on like what's new and what's next what's new and what's next um well 
obviously I gotta big up my my son TJ because he just came out with a movie the other day. Okay. The movie is called um, The Golden Boy, and um, it's it's produced and um, directed by Slick Films, and um, they're an Academy Award winning company. So that film is coming out in October this year. What like, cinemas? Um, is it going to be? Um, I'm not sure because it's like a short film. Yeah. It's about half an hour, okay. and um, I feel like. I don't know. I feel like it could be placed anyway. It's a, yeah. it's a really powerful film. Like, yeah. So proud of him for, for being in it and my other son, Caleb, as well. That's a coincidence because that's Hunt's name as well. Oh, for real? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Golden Boy. <laughs> How can he get a joke before you? you know what I mean? okay, yeah, yeah, facts, yeah. facts, facts. <laughs> but like, because it's the twenty-year anniversary and uh, Big Brothers, we're considering um, doing some new music as a four-piece. Um, hopefully, to release by like October, so we're not leaving ourselves a lot of time. To be fair, mm -hmm. but. Um, we feel like even today, yeah, at our big ages, like we still have enough mm. vim in us to like make yeah. a difference in the, not necessarily in the charts, yeah. but in, you know, fans' hearts yeah. more than yeah. anything. Like I don't care about chart position anymore. I did my thing, had my time. I'm happy for it. Like it's better mm. to have had it than not, in my mm. opinion. But like at the end of the day, I'm not looking for miracles. I'm not, mm. you know, asking God, please let me go platinum. Like, I don't care where I go. As long as people listen to it, appreciate yeah. it, and know that yeah. we're still making good music. And that, that's that's the m most important thing to me because like we're doing shows all the time. We're touring constantly. As I say, I'm booked a year in advance in it. So next year, like we're gonna be in Denmark, Sweden, all up and down the country. Like we have like really good uh, relations with uh butlins and stuff like this you know like mm. little holiday resorts in the uk so we're always in those places mm. doing shows as well as in the biggest arenas you can find in the country like you understand so if you follow us our our, our um, instagram is at big brothers official um mine is at jrock underscore big brothers and uh if you follow those we'll definitely keep you updated where we mm. where we've where Big Brothers is going to be. Sorry, yeah. yeah. No, it's cold, man. Yeah, yeah man. It's cold. Because, yeah. like, a lot of people come in and, like, because they, you know what I'm saying? They haven't mm -hmm. really got much going on after, but yeah. they've got real life going on. Do you yeah, get what I'm saying? Yeah, of course, man. But, like, yeah, I didn't know that you were still touring and, yeah, still yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. I think, like, there's a, you see the people that came out in that, that time, mm. yeah. because it wasn't internet, their stardom mm. was so much bigger. Mm, mm, so the stardom mm. could last a bit longer because mm. it was hard to reach those people them days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So because it was hard to reach them and it was it was TV, it was charts, mm. it was top of the pops. Mm. There was there's still a generation of it in it. Yeah. No, there's still a certain level of value to those people. Do you get what I'm saying that you can't even to the like let's say even when I I even say it to the people that was the early days of Channel U, mm. even those guys hold a certain level of value. These yeah, are, these guys definitely. got a bit bigger bigger level of value. Mm. The channel, you, the early channel, you guys got. Mm. The, there's a certain level of value that they hold in the hip hop game, absolutely. Where some people absolutely. can't replace because it was the early days. Yeah, do you get yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, same thing we're saying to Crazy. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. Like, so like, when it became a bit more accessible, so even the early days, like the UK understood. There's mm. a certain people like yourself. Yeah. The people are gonna remember those people as well because it was yeah. the, any, anything that was in the early days. People mm. are still gonna hold a certain value and remember because mm. it's still mm. not yeah. that long ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. of course, but man. Anything, everything that was there when it became easily accessible and everyone mm. knew what to do. Mm. What became hard about that period is that people blew, fell, blew, like quick, mm. quick, mm. quick, quick, up, quick yeah. upcoming, yeah, yeah. quick downfall. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know what's the real difference or, or what I'm proud to be able to say is that I held the door open for 20 years, bro. And like, hopefully like Stormzy will be rapping in 40 years time. You understand what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Hopefully Dave will, yeah, you understand? Yeah, yeah. No, like these people will have longevity in their careers. Definitely. Like you understand? My career might look short lived, but like I've never stopped touring in 20 years. I think you and SAS have a very similar, mm. like, you know, when you talk about their careers, mm, mm. like I feel like their, their thing is very similar in a certain mm. way where they saw done loads of stuff it was they they got to a certain they place a certain at a certain height. time mm, mm. yeah you know what I'm at a certain time as well a yeah. certain height because i don't think sas really got the charts not, so not where, where they had america it kind of puts mm. them in the same bracket as these men yeah, you know, like, yeah. 
mentioned. If you guys still say, get talked yeah, about because they it's still very vast. Like, do you not still get booked in the same When you say places. SAS, I used to love them so much, yeah. Like there was a point where I was trying to sign them directly. Yeah. Like, you understand? They came to my house a couple of times. Like, you understand? But like when they got the deal with uh Dipset, I was like, oh, it kind of makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> like, you understand? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I wasn't yeah. mad at no one, bro. I was like, yeah. more power T. Like, you understand? Yeah. They had they a had couple tunes. I'm sure they had a tune with like Estelle. Yeah. Like, yeah that yeah. was that was doing well, yeah, like yeah, in the yeah, UK yeah. and stuff yeah. like that. So I remember those type of tunes. But I used to have their mixtapes. And it's stuff like that. So yeah. the mixtape stuff let me know, raw these men can actually bar up. Definitely. Like there's been a few times in my career where I heard someone spit and I was like, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. SAS course. was one of them, mm -hmm. like, yeah. you understand? Even though they had a little American twang, again, the, it yeah. made sense to it me. It made sense because yeah, they're yeah. like they was out there playing basketball in high school, like and stuff like this. Yeah, so like yeah, you understand, yeah, like yeah. they was actually out there chopping it up with a certain man. Like yeah. that's a fact. Mm. So like I, did, I don't I don't take nothing away from them. Did you go forward to sign anyone in the future? No, no, not, just, not, not like that. Yeah, like by the time I walked away from music, yeah, the reason why is because like my oldest son was diagnosed with autism, and I didn't know what it was. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I was like, when I got the news, I was like, ah, oh, it's alright, kind of thing. Mm. We'll figure it out, kind of thing. But I didn't know what it was. And mm. inside, yeah, I was actually breaking. Do you know mm. what I'm saying? I was mm. thinking, bro, all through this pregnancy, I'm thinking this guy is going to be better than me at rapping. He's going to mm. be, you understand, doing this, doing that. And then the doctor told me he might not ever speak. I was like, what are you talking about? Okay. You understand what I'm saying? So as much as I still maintained a smile on my face and I was going mm. up and down like nothing ever happened, mm. I was masking the fact that I was actually breaking inside. So... There was a point where like me and Randy had a deal with Champion Records, which is a independent, but they're a really good independent, like for dance music and stuff like this. And I phoned them and said, look, don't ever phone me again. Like I started turning up the heat on that. Mm. Like, don't phone me. I don't care what the numbers are. I don't want any checks from you. I don't want anything. Like, just mm. don't phone me. I don't, I'm not interested. And it was like, why? And I couldn't actually explain why I had, yeah. I had switched off. Because if I didn't understand what is autism, I didn't yeah. expect them to, yeah. to understand yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, so I yeah, kind of took the wrong attitude, but I started turning up on people like, fuck off in it, don't phone me, yeah. this, that and the other. If you got money for me, you can send the check here or just leave it. Like, yeah. you understand, I'll collect it when I'm good. Mm, like, yeah. you understand, and so forth and so on. But like, that's how I walked away from, from music. And like, what got me back into it was the fact that I suppose me and my baby mother had broken up and like I had nothing else to do except mm. figure out how I'm going to get over this broken feeling. So I went back into the studio, started doing bits. Um, me and Randy was, was, you know, going back to back again. And I was trying to explain to Randy that raw, my, like, bringing my son out to his house and that mm. my son would be slapping the crap out of his TV and stuff. And I would be like, oh, chill, he's got autism, this, that and the other, and really have to explain what it was. But all through those, all through those moments, I was thinking of the diagnosis that my son had mm -hmm. and like, I was like, raw, I'm probably on that spectrum as well. Mm. Like you understand, but it wasn't until many years afterwards when I got diagnosed with Asperger's. So yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I get what you're saying. But like them times, maybe we might not have known so much how mm. to like, or you know, like what mm. them things was. Mm -hmm. yeah, like, yeah. How do you get, once you're like just taught or just shown, mm. oh no, this, cause I had a friend that I'm um, used to have fits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, used to, he used to have an epileptic fix. Mm, so mm. Like at first, it was like, right, what's that? Yeah. But then his mum mm. just taught about five of us from the area mm. what to do if he mm -hmm. has a fit. Mm, so yeah. now we just, from then on, mm -hmm. like he could come outside with us because mm. if he ever was in danger, we knew what to do. What to do straight yeah, away. Yeah. Do you understand? So sometimes it's just being taught. But so again, like there was a time where I was trying to tell my son about the world in it, but then it became easier to tell the world about my son. So like anybody else that's going through this situation mm. can find empathy with me mm. and also know that you're not alone going through yeah. this on your ones. Yeah. So that's why I'm so kind of vocal about it on my 
Instagram yeah. and social yeah. media and stuff like that. Certain man would be like, oh, Rocky just takes bare pictures of his kids. It's not, it's not really like mm. that. Yeah. Yes, I big up my kids all the time, but because... As you should, man. No, but because they're doing amazing things at yeah. their mm -hmm. little ages, isn't it? Like my youngest son, who just starred in a whole film, is seven now. He did mm -hmm. that film when he was six and he's on Spectrum. Yeah. Like my eldest is 15 and like again non-verbal but he's done so many different campaigns that he's very well known in that circle yeah my son john john is like the most amazing also on the spectrum by the way but amazing artist like you understand yeah. plus he's probably going to be a rapper one day he's good like you understand well, what one saying? thing i say sometimes we mm. we got like as much as, as much as you understand what labels they put not accept these labels that they put on our kids as well mm. because mm. sometimes the labels is putting our kids genius no, of course. Do you know what I mean? And there's a lot of genius within our of kids. Of course. And so, they give our kids labels that so, match, match no, some line that they're trying to keep us on. Definitely. You understand? Definitely. I don't want to go too deep, but you understand. So if someone says you're autistic, they immediately think Forrest Gump or Rain Man or something like this. It's not necessarily true. I'm on the spectrum. I don't think anyone gets Forrest Gump with me. Like, you understand no, what I'm what saying? About? No, like, even today I work with the NHS. I'm not afraid to say it from a hip-hop background to this, that, and the other. Like, I'm not dumb. Like, you understand? So to put any, you know, to put anyone on the spectrum into a box is a bad idea. You never know what that person might be great at. Like, That's you understand? what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. For what you, what, this is what I've gathered. For what mm. you think that they may be lacking in, mm. yeah. they've got some mad, yeah, some yes. crazy. But more time they put mm. in it on geniuses. That like, if, you, if you're just following the thing, mm. yeah, what, what that, see, like, what some, person, mm. what you're saying, yeah, this, like, um, yeah. you're saying that's what they've got, yeah, yeah but yeah. then you see someone else that does something similar to them, they're, mm. yeah. you're labeling them as a genius. Yeah. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. But this person, like, like you said, Rain Man, yeah, yeah. But, like, I don't know if anyone looks at Rain Man like he's like some joke character no, because Rain no. Man's the one that was going there and reading all the cards bro taking yeah, down casinos like, he went, that. yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying so mm. his genius was to remember cards yeah, so absolutely. all of a sudden if you think that he's strange because of that you're mad mm. my man's unlocking 100% they're new levels I thought it's new levels yeah so, and they're trying to they're trying to downplay the new levels yeah like they're new levels are there. so that's brain. the reason why I was in Nigeria I was doing like an autism conference I was doing like free consultations I saw maybe, I don't know, me and my team, we saw over like 600 families in Nigeria alone. When we went over to Ghana, did a similar thing, saw over 600 families. Like, Amazing. you understand? This Amazing. is in two weeks. Like, yeah. you understand? If I feel honored to be a part of these type of teams where yeah. I'm rolling around the world with professional black doctors and specialists. Like, you understand what I'm saying? I'm, the vibes, of course. Mm. But like, you understand? Yeah, to be in their presence, I'm also honoured. Like, you understand? So like, when they find out about me and my music background yeah. and this, that and the other, they've got mad questions for me. But like, the thing that I know I bring to the table is vibes. I bring energy all day. So when we're seeing all of these hundreds of families, don't think we're not going out raving afterwards. Mm. We're having a good time. We're going to restaurants. Yeah. We're popping champagne. We're having a good time, but we're doing a great job. Yeah. And like, that for mm. me is, is you know equal to my music career and mm -hmm. when thousands of people are applauding me i like when just one person is able to say i like that yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah of course man so you take payments from bare different ways you know like that mm -hmm. payment it's gratifying payment but it's payment, gratifying you know what I'm saying? yeah Soul, you know exactly what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly yeah man so i feel like this was epic one no definitely <laughs> drop some gems definitely no doubt, you know no what i'm saying doubt. like we saw we saw it from like his angle yeah, you know what I'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. so yeah I feel like this was sick in that yeah um, I love G mm. yeah so you know what I'm going to wrap it up now yeah cool cool big up everyone all of the necessary people mm. you know what I'm saying mm. in it like um, it's your boy H U N Tizzy this is the golden era UK rap podcast with J-Rock from Big Brothers book, yeah, book, yeah, book, yeah. Book, book, book. until next time thank you so much for having me my bro yeah my bro this was heavy <laughs>
Some will rise, some will fall Some will get the bag, some won't get none at all Keep it flipping like a somersault Car, this is real rap for the connoisseurs Yo, hold on a second and let me build a spin Let me get it together, come with some killer ish I was raising the place where the villains live Try to get the notes the same colour as the villa kit Wait, a hard grow up for the dividend